What's up there guys, welcome to a new episode of Cop Mail Six Game Boys and Game Bros. So today we're talking about Suicide Squad, the movie. The sequel, but doesn't have a two in it because it's technically a type of reboot. The main plot of this film is that Amanda Waller, who's back at it again, hires a squad of the non half of the worst of the worst because first off, and I think this is the main problem with me in the comic books of the Suicide Squad is this. Half of them in the comic books, you can put the best of the worst of the worst. Half of these dudes aren't the worst of the worst. You got Joker out here. You got Lex Luthor. Like, you got all them dudes. You got Deathstroke out there. These guys are not the worst of the worst if you have them characters in that world. So, yeah. I don't think of them as the worst of the worst. I think of them as some of the worst of the worst. But not fully the worst of the worst. And I never get why she went with that in the comic books either. They're the worst of the worst. Even though we got Joker locked up maybe in the cell. He's not the worst of the worst. Hmm. Yeah, so the main plot of this film is pretty much that she hires a new type of crew of Suicide Squad. Anyway, the first team, technically Team 1, is not half of the originals. Like, I'm going to clap the spoilers half for you. Spoilers, Boomerang is cut off in a bunch of the crew members, including the actor who plays Yondu. I've seen him. So I'm getting kind of familiar to Guardians of the Galaxy vibes from James Gunn. He's instantly killed off. So, don't worry about him. Pretty much, that's the film plot. Um, but, you know, it, they have great actors in this film. Though, like, they have some good actors in this film. But they also have some great characters that they add depth to. And that's the thing with James Gunn. Like, Polka Dot Man. You got Rat... I don't even know how to say her name. I'm going to call her Rat Girl or something like that. She has a wand in which she can talk with rats. She can summon rats with this wand stuff. You got Peacemaker and Bloodsport. Bloodsport, to me... And it was kind of like a kind of knockoff kind of half. Even if he is Mr. Comics, which I don't know. Built like a little bit of a how I put this to you, dead shot type character. In different bangs and ways. But, anyway, Rick Flagg and Harley Quinn are the only ones come back. Because, like I said before, Boomerang is killed off in this film. So, yeah. Now, does the film live up to my expectation? It pretty much is an awesome movie. Lived up to my expectations in general ways. Like, I knew this one was going to be good, but this good, you got King Shark in this film. And he got some some pretty much big budget actors like Sylvester Stallone to play King Shark was awesome. And I really don't hate this one because I can't hate this one because I love the film. Like, pretty much the plot is that they go on this island, like, where there's like a bunch of tech and stuff. Like, a whole nother place. And like, they got guns and all this stuff on here. Even though it's smart villains. They're supposed to get all this stuff and come back from the island. It's pretty much to save the government, pretty much. And the reason that Bloodsport is there is because his daughter, okay? His daughter is pretty much gonna go to jail if he does not become a leader of one of the Suicide Squads. So he's gonna have to work with Waller and all of them for that reason. Now, do I hate this movie? Not in detail, I hate this film. I pretty much love this film. It's a pretty good Suicide Squad film to me. And DC should go into the lens of, I hate saying this, but trying other characters that no one's heard of. Because look what that did for Shazam and Aquaman. Like, no, even though Aquaman is a pretty popular character, no one really thought he could do a big budget movie on him. Like, no one really thought he could do a big budget movie on Aquaman. And, like, they did it. And then you got Shazam. I really always wanted to see a Shazam movie. And they finally... There's a Shazam movie, so it felt pretty good to me. So, yeah, pretty good movie. And, I mean, I would love to see them go into different areas, like a Justice League Dark film. I would love to see that. But, yeah. So, yeah, this is a review of, well, Suicide, The Suicide Squad. Will I think of this film? This is an awesome movie. You should definitely go check this out if you are not under the age. Because this film is rated R. So, I got to make this pretty much included in my video. This film is rated R because... I don't want to be getting my, the montage. Like, hey, Joey, hey, comment on 6 7. I should totally go watch the Suicide Squad film that's rated R. No, I didn't watch the 2016 one if you want to watch one, okay? Doesn't, got nothing to do with me, all right? But yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure y'all hit and make sure y'all hit that like button and also subscribe and turn on post notifications, guys. I got some more banger videos on the way of comment 6. And my next video is going to be a film that you may not have heard of from 1989. The Punisher. That's right. I'm ruining the Punisher from 1989. So make sure y'all soon. Make sure y'all soon a bit tune into that video that's gonna be coming soon. So I'll be seeing y'all guys next time.